Welcome back to Mass Effect 2. What is up, everybody? We're here on the fake Normandy. <laughs> uh, we just got back from rescuing Archangel, which is uh, Mr. Garrus. So uh, we're going to chat it up with the crew a little bit, see how everybody's doing, and then head off to our next mission. Jacob's right here, so I guess we'll start with him. Hello, Jacob. Do you have anything you'd like to say to the cameras? Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. Mm-hmm. You're here because you're Cerberus. Don't expect special treatment. <laughs> Understood. But not everyone in the group is hardline. I'm an employee because I believe in their current direction doesn't mean I don't have concerns about their past actions. Or some of yours. What I you do? You watch me, I'll watch you. That suits you? <laughs> yeah, what did I do to you? It's good to hear a clear opinion. Sounds like we're two of a kind. That honors me more than you, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Hmm. Interesting. I don't, like I said, I don't trust any of the Cerberus crew yet. We'll see if they come around. But uh, for now, I'm not a fan of any of them. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can find Garrus or Miranda, because that's all we've got here. Oh, and we should have that one dude. I don't remember his name, though. Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back. That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. <laughs> I assume everything's going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output, and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. If you don't want to hear it, turn the damn sound off. Well, it doesn't change anything. It's still watching. Like some creepy kid staring at the back of your head in comp side. You just want to punch him, but he's special and he sets fires or something. Okay, a little too far there, but you know what I mean. Wow. <laughs> your problem, not mine. Thanks. I'll remember this. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on. It, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. True. I miss the old crew, though. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. The rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. No. Okay. Do you know where they are? <laughs> That's it for now. See you, Commander. All right. Where is your mutant but uh, <laughs> mute button? I'd like to turn you off. Um. Okay. So let's see where Miranda and Garrus would be, and also that weird crazy guy with the crazy eye. <laughs> Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Well, thank you. I'll go receive it now. Oh, Anderson. The off chance that the rumors are true and you actually are alive, I need you to come and talk to me at the Citadel. A lot has changed in the last two years. You put me on the council, it's only fair you'd be allowed to speak for yourself about what we've been hearing. Is that a demand or a request, Anderson? Zaid. Ah, that's the guy. We've reached an agreement with the veteran mercenary Zaid. You may know the name, he's been involved in so you're best known. And utterly unknown military operations in the Terminus system is, as I feared, a ruthless and relentless bounty hunter. 
thought you might need a man with his skills on your mission, so I arranged to have him join you. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. It's a lot of messages. I wonder if we should go see Anderson on the council. Garrus and Miranda in the same place. Great. More convenient for me. Let's check in with them and then maybe we'll go see Anderson. I don't like the way he was talking about in that message, so. Shepard, the women's restroom is on the starboard side of the ship. Don't tell me where to go to the bathroom. I'll go wherever I please. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Can you imagine if I just came in here and was like, Get back to work! Oh, you're the cook guy. Ah, Miranda. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Yeah, no Cerberus kidding. isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So? What would you like to know? What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What makes you think so? How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. Even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Interesting. Your goals. I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the Special Tasks Group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. And the elusive man is in charge? But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Interesting. Yeah, I still don't trust you. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Well, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. Okay, so then why didn't you need me? If you could be whatever you wanted. Be and do whatever you want to do. Why do you need Shepard? I love your skirt. Where did you get it? Uh, it was my mom's in the 80s. <gasps> Vintage! So adorable. Thanks. <laughs> that is the ugliest effing skirt I've ever seen. Huh. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Huh. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly, and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and, well, it's pretty impressive, really. <laughs> so you're perfect. <laughs> it's like that line from Mean Girls, where she's just like, So you think you're pretty. So you agree. <laughs> Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. 
but I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. Mm-hmm. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. It's just some sort of, like, false attitude I get from... Her, if there, like, there's a front there, and I don't like it. Because her quarters? Dang, she's got a bigger bed than I do. That's not fair. Ugh. Whatever. Hmm. Huh. I don't know if I like you. You seem very fake to me. Also, again, if you're perfect and have biotic abilities and all that stuff, why do they need me? Alright, let's see where Garrus is. Maybe he's in the medical lab. Dr. Chakwas, what up? Uh, you seen Garrus? Garrus! Garrus! Where you at, boy? Oh, there you are. Hi, buddy. Shepard. Need me for something? Yeah. Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I True. thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we joined up with them sooner. Hmm. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What did your Merc squad do? Didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. <laughs> Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. Hmm. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? After the Normandy was destroyed, most of us went our separate ways. CSEC asked me back, but I turned them down. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. Hmm. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. Dang. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sedonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last Sounds long. like exactly what happened in the last game with Saren and... Was it Nihilus? I think his name was Nihilus. It's almost like it was foreshadowing. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. No. Oh. Buddy. Don't worry, buddy. I'll help you. I'll help you find, uh... That dude. Alright. I don't know if we'll be able to find Zaid. If 
but uh, let's see. Oh, he's downstairs. Let's go talk to him real quick. <laughs> Engineers? Any of you seen Zaid? Whoa. Oh, Tally would have loved this. She liked working with the engines last time. I find a way to get her back. I don't know how, but. Somehow. Oh, there you are. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. Okay. So you knew Archangel from before. Interesting. Knew a lot of men taking jobs to kill the son of a bitch. I never saw the point. He and I wanted the same thing. A whole lot of mercs dead. Hell of a sniper, though. And he kept himself alive with all the mercs in Omega after him. That ain't easy. Okay, you're just not gonna talk to me until I do your side quest. <laughs> Did I just make garbage? <laughs> Eject garbage. <laughs> Taking out the trash, just like a good commander. What is this? Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. I can see why we keep Wasn't by the garbage. Job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Gizak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept the helmet to remind me of that pained expression. Yeah, I can see why we keep you by the garbage. <laughs> You're a garbage person. You've gone a little nuts. Off your rocker. Alright. Back to the command deck. <laughs> you trash, Zaid. Alright. I gotta figure out what a citadel is. Recruit the professor. We've got fuel. Father, <laughs> I don't know where the citadel is. Mass relay, Omega, recruit the professor. Maybe if I go to the mass relay, it'll tell me where the thing is. Recruit the convict. Investigate Project Overlord. Recruit the Warlord. Help Zaid. Ah, Citadel. Recruit the Master Thief. Okay, let's go to the Citadel. I'm really curious about why Anderson was calling us back there. Supposedly constructed by the long extinct Protheans, this colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Citadel Council. Gravity is simulated through rotation and is comfortable. Yeah, 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 we don't care. We're going to the Citadel. I saved them last time, so they better appreciate it. Especially because I died. Also, they had to rebuild a lot of stuff, so. I'm curious to see what it looks like now. I like these transitions, they're very cinematic.
And for crying out loud, will someone tell me what happened to Lihara? <sighs> okay. I'm taking Garrus with me. Let's take Miranda. And we got points. Let's go find Captain Anderson. I wonder if Udina is on here and he's just like extra bitter. Oh wow, looks a lot different than last time. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. <laughs> Got the crap? Is that it? Is that it? You know who I am, Kasumi. I'm not here to play games. I heard you were hardcore, Shep, but I figured you'd be up for some intrigue. Kasumi Goto, at your service. But you apparently already knew that. Hmm. Are you the master thief? What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Yeah. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. Thanks. You've been briefed. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. Uh-huh. Welcome aboard. Good to have you along, Kasumi. You ready to go? I travel light. I've already slipped my things aboard your ship. Great. I'm really glad you're helping me out with the heist. Can't wait to see how you look in formal wear. Wait, what? I have a feeling you know something I don't. They didn't tell you? And they call me secretive. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. I get... <clears throat> What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. What? You want to look presentable. We'll see what we can do. No guarantees. Sure. But I bet you're dying to see what it's like to come along on a heist with me. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. Okay. I'm not getting good feelings about this so far. <laughs> Like, okay. So it seems like everybody that the elusive man is recruiting is asking for something in res in uh, exchange, which is not good. Because then I'm gonna have to do a bunch of stuff to ensure that they help me. Ugh. Oh, he did a little booty shake. Keepers, I remember you guys. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an em I'm I thought it might be nice to come back here and see how it's changed, but it's just like it was. Same dirty streets, same unrepentant scavengers, same revolving door prisons. Being security here is a terrible job. This is exactly why I left. Oh, should I have left you on the ship? I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Where Captain Anderson would be. Honestly, I don't know. Maybe there's a rapid transit. He is on the council now, so I guess we should head for the council. Because it looks like we're in the middle of CSEC Academy. Hi! Obviously security has tightened since you were last here. Apparently. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. 
Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're dead. <laughs> I'm getting that everywhere. It's a pain in the ass. Who do I talk to about it? Our station commander is just beyond the scanners. Out and to the right. He can reinstate your IDs. Thanks. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Am I interrupting something? Yes. I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Mm-hmm. I wonder if it's, like, a good thing that I'm dead so that nobody can see me coming. You don't change it. Anonymity's useful on my current mission. Sure, you're a goddamn hero. It's not like we have to worry about you smuggling guns in or something. I just put a block in the system. Officially, you still don't exist. And you won't get hassled by the security checkpoints. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. How do I get What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Okay. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else I don't think Garrus would agree, but all right. Or can I get back to work? I should be going. You need anything else, let me know. Okie dokie. Yeah, I think the uh, anonymity is going to be useful there. Oh god, is Shaira back on this planet? Alright, let me take a public shuttle. Presidium. Let's go! Captain Anderson? This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. Uh. My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the Voice of Humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We mm -hmm. called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. Mm-hmm. And? The Collectors are abducting human colonists in the Terminus systems. Worse, we think they're working for the Reapers. The Terminus systems are beyond our jurisdiction. Your colonists knew this when they left Council Space. You're missing the important part, Counselor. The Reapers are involved. Ah, yes, Reapers. The immortal race Don't of sentient me. starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Uh, what about, what about G G Garrus? He's right here. <laughs> Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional. Of course, and we it's have not. found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus and before them by Saren. Oh, for crying out loud. <sighs> I 
I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. It's not working for you. Shepard, them. if you keep working a low profile them. and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. Low profile and restrict your operations. <sighs> what does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. Oh good, thank you. Ugh. I'm so sick of these guys. Take your offer and cram it up your ass. I didn't need your help to stop Sovereign and I don't need it now. Oh, We've not tried not. to be reasonable. A tactic that has been misplaced. If your actions become a threat to the security of Council Space, we will take action. Watch your step, Shepard. You've been warned. Well, that didn't go as well as I had hoped. Bureaucrats and politicians aren't going to stop the Reapers. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, um. we need to talk about... Shepard, what are you doing here? <sighs> Look what has become of you. A rat in the desert. Look what I have risen above. Great. I got a long list of people I didn't want to see. Yep, name is right <laughs> exactly. Top. Thank the you. The feeling is mutual, believe me. Your return is a bureaucratic nightmare for us. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You what? what? Counselor, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? Yeah. I didn't just meet with the Council. They offered to reinstate me as a Spectre. And I told them where to shove it. Eh. Are you trying to start an interstellar war? What the hell is wrong with you? I make the decisions around here, Udina. Your job is to clean up the mess I leave behind. Understand? Of course, Counselor. Given the potential size of this one, I'd better get started. I'll be in my office. Yeah, run along. Sorry about that. Udina's never gotten over the fact that I got the Council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. Oh. <laughs> what do you keep him around for? He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. All right. How have the last couple years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Hmm. What happened to Gunnery Chief Williams after the Normandy was destroyed? Operations Chief Williams is still with the Alliance, but she's working on a special mission. It's classified. You I can't, can't tell say me? anymore. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. <sighs> Lame. Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line. That's got to be yours. <sighs> Alright. It was worth a shot. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk... I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Oh, trust me. I already know that, sir. <laughs> I have no intention of trusting them. 
You guys want to go play a prank on uh, Udina? The Destiny Ascension has completed its 20 colony victory cruise. Council members aboard thanked Human Alliance soldiers for their efforts in repelling Saren's invasion two years ago. Ooh, the Dark Star Lounge. I could use a drink. Excuse me, how do I get to the Dark Star Lounge? Apparently not that way. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? Uh, I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. That sounds fun. Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. Oh, he sells games. It's awesome. Ooh, here we go. I don't know why there's two doors, but... Mm. Ooh. What will it be? I want the strongest thing you have. Easy enough. Awesome. This is... it's green? And guaranteed to knock you on your ass. Unless you're Dextro DNA like me. If you are, it'll kill you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? I'm done for now. Let me know if you change your mind. Okay. What is this? Oh! Maybe I can... is that the thing that, um... Yeah, Dr. Chalk was looking for. Awesome! I'll take that back to her. <gasps> Can I dance? <gasps> yes! Oh my god, yes! I love that this is an option. <laughs> Get it, Shepard! Oh. That was it? I wanna dance. all I can do. Oh. Come on. There's gotta be a button I missed. Get into it, Shepard. No? Oh. Well, at least I got the option. <laughs> yeah, well, I miss Liara. Uh, where is my girl? Oh. Hello, sir. Is this the bathroom? I apologize. <laughs> He's like, hey, get out of here. See, she's getting into it. She's like fist bumping. Let's see if I leave it long enough. Oh, I guess I, that's it. <laughs> All right. Looking for a little R and R, Shepard? It's a nice enough place. A lot nicer than Cora's den, anyway. I wasn't sorry to hear they never reopened oh. after the Geth attack. Hmm, they were a little shady. I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's just get back to the Normandy because I want to give Doctor Chakwas that thing. I feel bad that she wasn't able. To oh, it's the bitchy AI. I don't remember you. Okay. You know what's good? Alliance Corsair. The, the battles are pretty realistic, but it's still fun. And you can install it on an Omni tool. Solar electronics. No, I'm looking for the, uh... The public shuttle. Back to the Normandy. Thank you very much. I think we'll wrap this episode with talking to Dr. Chakwas.
Just gotta remember what. Commander, level. you've received a new message at your private terminal. Thank you. I'll check it in a minute. Oh, and Kasumi's down here too. I should probably talk to her. But also the medical bay. Medical bay. <laughs> Okay. It's just too dangerous for them in New Canton. I'm shipping my family back to Earth. You can afford that? Yeah, Cyprus looks out for their own. They're funny. Pardon me? Them. Not where I wanted it's to go. Least they can do when we're putting our lives on the for line. observation. You can sue me? People are talking out there. And I hear it all. Uh huh. You're a little creepy. Oh shit, I can get myself a drink! Heck yeah. Can't believe they restricted access to the freaking bar for the captain. How dare they? Hmm, okay. Oh, this is nice. What is... The Red Rose. That used to be my calling card when I first started out. In place of whatever I took, I left a single Red Rose. It wasn't until I met Keiji that I realized how silly it was. He had a way of making you realize when you were just being sentimental. Dang, they gave her her own room on the ship and everything. Okay, well, I guess we'll come back and talk to you when it's relevant. Dr. Jack was. I got something for you. I think that's Miranda's quarters. Oh, there you are. Working late in the medical lab. Dr. Chakwa! How may I help you, Commander? We got you I have a present for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle, when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? Heck yeah, I've had like four drinks, let's you go! open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. <laughs> I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! <laughs> Oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Oh, Jenkins was the OG. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. To Jenkins, to Presley, and to Alenko. May they never be forgotten. My drink disappeared before I drank it. <laughs> Whoa. Feeling some alcohol. <laughs> Shouldn't have had that many drinks. Whoa. I mean, am I the only one seeing that? Uh, I wonder if you can pass out. I've had a lot of drinks. Um, let's head back up to uh, my cabin. I'll take my messages privately. Unread messages. Server's command. Put it inside up. Take care of Garrus. My husband was one of the men serving on Garrus' team. I don't know how much Garrus talked to you about what happened. Don't know the specifics myself, only that my husband died in a trap set by those bastard gangs. I know Garrus blames himself. He took every shot fired at his squad as a failure on his part. It was clear when he sent me the message about my husband that he thinks it was his fault. My husband would never would have wanted that. He was proud of the work he did on Garrus' squad. He was talking back... He was taking back Omega from the gangs. He died fighting with honor. I miss him. God, I'd give anything to get him back. Whatever happened there wasn't Garrus' fault. Here's his, you're his commander now. Please, if you can, help him stop blaming himself. 
And please don't tell him that I sent you this. Oh. Okay. Now I'm gonna crash. Yeah. Godspeed to you, Commander. Godspeed, Spider-Man. Crash site data. From Elusive Man. Current our armor technicians, you might not want to show your face wherever you go. We sent by a hood that serves issues to its covert operatives. It has additional microframe functions that you may like. The hood is in your quarters. I think I saw that before. Art projector. For submitting your updated medical documentation. Your status has been changed from deceased to alive. After deducting modest administration fees for closing the file, the subsequent change in status and the reactivation of your account, you have a remaining balance of that many credits. I thought I told him to leave that alone. Huh. Alright. <gasps> we are. Baby. Hmm. I really hope we find her. And Tali. Should have asked Tali to come with me. Oh, there's the N7 helmet. Nice. Breather helmet. That's the recon head. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's gonna do it. We'll see you next time for another episode of Mass Effect 2. Good night. Shepard's going to bed because she's drunk. Goodbye!